In the world of remote learning, where distance is touted as an advantage, ironically, connectivity and personal connection are crucial for educational success. However, many students throughout the state of Ohio, particularly in the Southeast region, have unreliable internet service or no internet at all. Addressing this issue is crucial because while the pandemic may have thrust school districts into this situation, many anticipate that remote learning will continue to be a part of the education system in the state going forward. School districts are doing their best to make sure to reach every child with innovative and creative solutions. But there isn't one solution that addresses all of the issues. The economics of it are such that adding an additional house in, a, in an urban environment, the, the cost to add an additional house is, is negligible for a large internet provider. The price to add a house that's, you have to string a mild cable or fiber, and that's a different economic equation. And so having to recover that cost is, is something that discourages internet providers. However, this is an issue that state leaders plan to address. While remote learning was thrust upon us by the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, it's likely here to stay. I will say that if we go back to exactly the way we were beforehand, shame on us. We have learned a lot. There are children that are thriving in this environment. There are plenty of children who aren't. And it underscores the social and emotional gaps as well as the academic gaps for students who are not thriving in this environment. There's some that really are and that are that are much happier without some of the distractions or external pressures that come with being in a classroom with others who learn differently or, or think about learning differently or value learning differently. And so uh, when this is over, when we come out the other side, there should be a place for students to continue to learn remotely Virtual education opens doors to students in Ohio that have never been possible before. Since we now have this network that connects all the schools, it's conceivable that a child in, in Meigs County could sit down from 9 to 9.50 every morning and be enrolled in higher level physics, being taught out of a classroom in, I'd say, Dublin. And why shouldn't that student be able to take that? We have been able to work with um, broadband vendors to be able to provide temporary, and we get it, we get it's a short-term fix, but temporary hotspots to those families. Um, and sometimes it's not just per family, sometimes it actually is per child, per student, because we know that lack of internet access is actually not just an education deficit. Um, we have had, if you look at the numbers of of folks that adults who have not been able to work from home during this remote session. Um, it's an economic development issue. It's also a healthcare issue. You know, we've had the medical system kind of retool to be able to do doctor's visits online. And so if we have families that can't access primary health care, if they can't access their education and they can't access work, then clearly we've, we've got a bigger human issue. That whole program in the 30s was we're gonna make sure everybody has electricity. We're gonna make sure everybody has telephone. Well, now we're sort of at this point where we need to figure out, should everybody have broadband? And now there are those of us that think the answer is yes. And you know, when you walk into a house, you turn on the tap, you expect water to come out. You turn on the light switch, you expect light to come out. You expect electricity. And when you turn on your computer or your phone, you should expect data to be coming out. We had 15 tornadoes rip through our community the spring before the pandemic. Uh, if those tornadoes would have come through our community before Memorial Day, we would have been in this exact same situation, but about a year ahead of the pandemic. So being able to fluidly navigate and access education in and out of an online environment, that's really the goal. And in order to do that, we have to become 21st century teachers so that we can really educate our 21st century learners. Lesson plans should look different. Uh, we should use technology inside of the classroom in a different way than what we've ever done before. That way the kids and the learners 
again, can fluidly come in and out of online learning when and if they need to. Whether it's the next epidemic, it's the next round of tornadoes, it's a flood, um, it's, it's a hopefully never again, never again, another pandemic, um, but for whatever reason. In the meantime, the state of Ohio is providing teachers, families, and students in connectivity-challenged school districts support through the remote edX program. To help find ways to get students connected and provide teachers strategies and trainings to help students succeed despite these barriers. Because making connections, both technological and personal, is the key to remote learning success in areas with barriers due to internet access and reliability. To learn more about Remote edX, visit their website.